Hi, this is Russ with Devoted Golfer TV. It's the 2018 PJ Merchandise Shiro, and I'm here with Joe Kohler. And Joe Kohler is with Swingbite. Swingbite's been around for how long? About seven years. About seven years, yeah. You know, I, I was incredibly impressed with this technology when it first showed up. And I've got a Swingbite 1 laying on the bench someplace. And you know, and and I've had all of these, you know, made by everybody. And you know, the the software seems to come and go. There's ebbs of interest in it, and then it slows down for a little while. How long has Swing by Two been out? Four years, I believe. I've four years. Four yeah. Four years now. The hardware hasn't changed that much, and they're similar across brands. It's the software and what you see and how it helps you and how repeatable the information is that really is what I think sets Swingbite apart from some of the others. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here. There's two kinds of Bluetooth, and, 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 and you get like a streaming flow mm -hmm. where some other people only get little pieces of data. And the speed at which you see a representation is important as well. Yeah. So, so when you're streaming, you can actually see the whole swing. Right. If you're if you're not streaming, and, and that's like another form of Bluetooth where you're doing the computation on the device and spitting out a number, as opposed to streaming it to uh, to a computer or to a, a cell phone and then it's doing the computation right on a phone. cell phone. Right. Did, yeah, did I did I get that part right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah. And so this is the genre of stuff that does the computation off-board, in a sense. A and that gives you much more power. It gives you much more information and at a more rapid rate. Yeah. Um, it's very versatile. It works with any club in your bag. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you've seen some devices where you attach your phone to the shaft. Well, you know, that's great for putting, not so good if you're going to attach it to a driver and you're going to launch your phone down the driving range. Yeah, yeah. And it adds a lot of mass. This is oh. less than an ounce, and it attaches at the butt of the grip where you don't... When you say less than an ounce, how many grams? 26. 26 it's grams. 28 grams in an ounce. Okay, so we're talking about three, four times the weight of a grip, right? Okay. Yeah, 8, 10 grams oh, for grip. Up. Yeah, but yeah. The higher up it is, the less it affects the way the club swings. Yeah. Naturally. You know, I, I have this machine that does MOI of the club. And people talk to me about, you know, what what does the grip do? Well, if you put a heavy grip on a swing weight machine, of course, you know, you're going to get some, some funky number, right? Mm -hmm. But if you put a grip on an MOI machine, the grip reads 8. Now, let me create perspective for that. The overall club is going to read like 2,600, 2,700, 2,800 you know, in that range, 24 to 2,800. What is 8 compared to 2,600 or 2,400? It's nothing. It's right. insignificant. So, you know, so now we're talking about, instead of 8, we're talking about 4 times 8, 32. But still, in the overall mass and, and dynamic weight of the club, it's, pretty insignificant. it's insignificant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're going to do this, you do it up at the handle. Yeah, unless you're going to build it into the shaft at the tip, it, you know, it's in the best place we can put it for consistent application because you, you are going to take that off your driver, put it on a 7-iron, and put it on a wedge or a putter. Right. And it's got to work. And if, and if you take those. technology like this and you put it in head, that 28 grams in head, I, mean, I can change somebody's swing path with 2 grams. Some people I can change a swing path with 1 gram. So I talk about non-intrusive technology, and for the price, this is the least intrusive technology that you can buy. Well, that's very nice of you to say. And we like that it works with Android, it works with iOS, it works without a golf ball. See, the way it, the way it registers a swing is at contact, there's vibration in the shaft. Mm -hmm. You can do that by taking a light divot on your carpet. So in my office, I'll swing a sand wedge, you know, 50 miles an hour, take a tiny divot, I immediately see a recognition of a swing, I hear an audible tone, mm -hmm. tell me the metrics of that swing. I can use it on a driving range with a real ball, but mm -hmm. I, can, I can hit a foam ball or I can hit no ball. Mm -hmm. It's all the same. Great, great. Okay, so, it's, so walk me through the software a little bit. Show me some of the things you got. So you attach it. 
as I said, up, up near the grip there, mm -hmm. and it presents itself on an iPad, an iPhone, or an Android device as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the representation here is not so quite. So you've got a full 3D graphic. You have full 3D graphic. Um, I can't turn this, but if you can imagine turning it from face on to down the line, and then from overhead, you see these metrics. This is actually like a, a dice, and it, you can rotate it. And there's 16 different metrics it'll give you. On an iPad, it's presented linearly down the side. Mm -hmm. You can prioritize them. You just grab it and bring it up to the top. And if tempo and angle of attack are the two things you want to see, they'll be right there present where it's most easily accessible. OK. And, and so, so I, can take this, I can take this thing and put it any place I want. Right. So yeah. there's a down yeah. the line view. Okay. And I want to see if this person was losing their anterior tilt. So you yeah. draw a little line. So I, so I can draw lines with my finger on an iPad. That's it. Pick a color, draw a circle, draw a line, and then it will sync the video to the swing. So while this represents what the club did, for a lot of people, it's hard for them to perceive what their body was doing at the same time. So, so you don't need a, a no, camera. No, no, no. Wait a, wait a second here. Phone. Yeah, you, you're using the camera on the phone, yes. and you're synchronizing this view with the phone camera. It, you actually slide it out of the way if you don't want it. Yeah. If you do want yeah. to see it, you bring it into view. Right. Uh, it syncs itself. Mm -hmm. It takes a few seconds to buffer, mm -hmm. um, and you can see it on an iPad or mm -hmm. a tablet. It, the phone is really too small, mm -hmm. a screen to split in half and mm -hmm. get any practical use out of. So mm -hmm. you can use your phone By the to way, take the video. you're not leaving with this. All right. <laughs> Let's can, stay in here. My pleasure. Um, <laughs> You can take the, the video mm -hmm. from your iPhone mounted somewhere behind you. Right. Later, you, it goes to the cloud. You can see it on your tablet. You mm -hmm. bring it across, see it mm -hmm. on your tablet. You can record it on your tablet, and everything goes up to the cloud and back and forth between your devices. Mm -hmm. all, your, all your swings are saved mm -hmm. by day, by club. Mm -hmm. You can. By person? It. No. Uh, Okay, it, it's a personal a, device, yeah. There's a pro setting where you can have different students use it at the same time, but it's meant to be that you log in an account for yourself, you save your swings. Okay. Somebody else can log out. Your wife could use the same device, arguably, on her phone. Uh, okay. Her login. Gotcha. Yeah, device so, specific. Device specific. For a particular person, yeah. But then I can te text or email that swing to you and say, what do you see? What's going on? All my shots are doing this. And so you can review the swing and the data and email or call that person back and tell them what you see. So you can send the video and the swing information to your golf pro? To what? Your golf pro, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, so he can pick pro, it up and take a look at it. And the yeah. golf pro can sort of give a lesson from wherever he happens to be. Mm -hmm. So he says, go practice. I want you to work on this one or two things. Mm -hmm. And you're working on We'll use angle of attack. You can mm -hmm. take 10 swings, and it will list them by date, mm -hmm. and you can see how consistent you were and if you were moving in the right direction. Now, I'm a club fitter. Do you have speed graphics here? No. So there is a color to the swing, and yeah. it increases in, it, it gets to red at its highest speed, Okay. we don't present it. Well, we don't present it graphically. No, but real time. You will see head speed as we move through the swing down here. You press play, and it'll play the whole swing, or you can stop at different parts. But this will, in real time, go from 10 to 90, and hopefully that 90 is at impact and not three-quarters of the way through the swing. But yeah. that's something you can learn. Okay. Yeah, so you can, as you're, as you're walking through it, you can see where that acceleration bump is. And that's so important. Yeah. Because that needs to happen at just the right moment. Yeah. To transfer the energy to the ball. These are the overhead lines I was just talking about. If you imagine that club, this would be slightly laid off so the butt is pointing on the other side of where you're standing past the ball, mm -hmm. but the path back through is very parallel. And that's, most people would say, a good thing. Now, as the club comes through, the next thing that starts to happen is the head is now pointing down. So th this is going to be the head coming through because the butt is now pointing up in the air. Okay. So you get a sense of where the head is and where the handle is. So I've got a laser line of the handle. Mm -hmm. 
And, and then, comes then the as the, okay, we're so not now impact I've, here. Right. We're at the top, so okay. we know this perspective. Mm -hmm. And then as you're coming through, mm -hmm. you know, are you rotating your head? Mm -hmm. Are you dropping? Yeah. And so you're picking up the head trail, which has to come through the ball. Mm -hmm. But is it coming outside in? Are you? And yeah. It depends yeah. on your intention, yeah. of course. It yeah. doesn't mean it's wrong. Right. If it's coming from outside in. Yeah. This, this could be a very, very long video, and I don't want to go there. Okay. Uh, so so there will be a phone call in, in a few weeks once I get really familiar with this. Yeah. So, so it does work with every club in the bag, which I think is important, and you're not adding any mass to the putter. Right. It can record a very soft putt. Mm -hmm. what, kind of, what kind of putting information do I get? What kind of, what kind of data? Do I get presented in putting application? Uh, well, you get tempo, you get face to plane, you get angle of attack. A lot of people will deal off their putter, press their shaft hands forward. Lean, shaft lean. shaft lean is really important for yeah. putting and face and path. Those are the two most important metrics. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the slower the movement of the club, the shorter the distance, a wedge or a putt, the easier it is for the average person to take that data and make some use out of it. Mm -hmm. So the, argue, the question is, great, now I know I'm too steep with my swing, how do I stop doing it? Because knowing I have a problem is yeah. one thing. Finding a solution that can't be solved with the right shaft, mm -hmm. and, and while well, that helps a great deal, of course, right. but if you're shaft, swinging weight, down and on any number driver, of things, yeah, it's going to be a problem with any shaft. Right. right? So we came up with m what we call MARA. Mm -hmm. It's a motion analysis and then it gives a recommendation algorithm, mm -hmm. it's a mouthful. So we had a golf pro mm -hmm. analyze swing faults, mm -hmm. put them together and say, if you're doing these three things, the ball probably did this, and so here are three video solutions for you to practice. So we get little drills. Right, so it'll say, take five swings with your seven iron, let's say, mm -hmm. analyzes that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give you some suggestions of what you aren't doing in terms of somebody's idea of a perfect swing. Yeah, your right elbow is too low, right? That, whatever yeah, the idea yeah. is that this coach has decided, you know, Jim Hardy says this is the way you should be swinging a seven iron, and if you've got a flying right elbow, here's a, here's you're, a you're going outside in. Yeah, right, right yeah. exactly. Or yeah. if you're losing your posture, this is probably what you're doing, or here are three things to work on. Yeah, yeah if you so, break posture, guess what? I'm fitting you upright. We're giving you th drills oh. to work on that are yeah. going to solve the problem, hopefully, instead of just telling you what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And I believe we're the only people that do that. That's great. And that's, that's a video solution that, that you can pick up on your phone? Yeah. Is that streaming into you, or is that...? Yeah, it's, it's a connection at this point through okay. YouTube videos. Okay. So Internet connection is, is important for that. Yeah. But you get your video instruction right away. Mm -hmm. and when you want to practice something. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys have done some work on club fitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, and, we and you've partnered with companies. some people, right? Yeah, Cleveland has a wedge fitting system. Mm -hmm. to, to take a few swings, it decides the angle of attack, how much bounce is necessary based on what the pro understands you're looking for. Or you play on really wet turf, you may need more bounce anyway, but here's how you swing. This is the club of Cleveland's that is best for your type of swing. And so that's that's through Cleveland mm -hmm. using your device. Yeah, that's not something did something similar with ball fitting. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. The other so, so, really yeah, okay. interesting thing that we offer if you don't use the virtual coach side of this mm -hmm. is something we call dial it in. So on that earlier slide where you could see the four boxes across the top of the page, if mm -hmm. there's a particular metric you want to work on, mm -hmm. and we'll use path or tempo, you press and hold the cube for a second, it brings up a new page that it's called dial it in. So if your perfect tempo is 2.8, mm -hmm. you know, 2.8 times longer on the takeaway than the downswing, mm -hmm. your, you can set how tight a parameter you want to be considered successful for you. Mm -hmm. So you take 10 swings, and if you say 2.5 to 3.2 is acceptable. Anything below 2.5 or above 3.2 will give you a negative tone. Ideally, you'll see or hear eight or nine positive tones during that 10-swing mm -hmm. dial-it-in session.
Mm -hmm. Retail? 169 retail. No monthly. Yeah, yeah. Free. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about some other pieces of exotic software that, that fire off tones and what they cost. Add a zero Th or that's two. That's why I asked that. Yeah, that's why I asked that question. Add a, add a zero or two is, is right. It's an awful lot of information for very little money. Yeah, yeah. You can use it anywhere. Use and, it in your and, office. And non-intrusive, probably the least intrusive device that I know of. So. A nice little alignment line on the top of it. So as you look down the shaft, you see a white line should be parallel to the leading mm -hmm. edge. So you know it's squared up, so it knows where you're aimed. Uh, you can't aim the face 20 degrees left. If your target is straight ahead of you, it, it only knows so much. So it assumes you line yourself up as one would expect. So the that's it right there. That's, that's your little white line? That's it. Yeah. And so this is the top, and you just line it up that you way. Just look in the faces right here. Right. But if you then turn it, that turns also. So it then assumes your target line is off there. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Thanks. Joe, thanks for spending time with us. My pleasure. And uh, Enjoy your new swing bike. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will. And I, and I know that I'm going to be looking forward to exploring use of this as a fitting tool as we move forward here. I'll look forward to hearing about that. Yeah.